I'm Andy Smith, R&D Director at Carbon360. We're focused on really scalable processes. So we do a lot of work with resin transfer molding, compression molding, filament winding. Really everything that we do is designed to go from concept all the way through to a finished design, make prototypes, test them, and take them through to series production. One of the projects that we wanted to sort of apply those techniques to was Halos, which is on the blade that you can see here. So this is a project that's focused on the advanced air mobility sector. So it's a kind of new space within aerospace and it's focused on electric vertical takeoff and landing. So a whole new breed of aircraft. There's some big players all around the world racing to try and get these aircraft in the sky. They're all going through this significant challenge with certification and all really focused on trying to get these aircraft prototypes built, certified and flying at the moment. It's kind of large drones that, that are going to fly people around. The trajectory for this market in terms of volumes is enormous. Oh, Halos has been a huge opportunity for us to uh, explore our innovations and our thoughts uh, for the emerging advanced air mobility market. Um, we've seen that this sector is a huge growth opportunity. We have a range of experience of different processes, different design methodologies, which we feel are really appropriate to productionizing high volume rotor blades. And the HALOS project with the funding through the ATI, through NATEP, just enabled us to crystallize some of those ideas and get them into a working proof of concept that we can take to customers and show what we're really capable of. One of the major challenges with that particularly on this product, is that they have to be made in, in high volumes. How do we make these blades in a way that we can scale that up so we can make hundreds of thousands of them? Whilst also meeting a really difficult set of circumstances for certification, which includes bird strike. So that is one of the major things for this blade that has, it has to deal with, is we need to make sure that if, if we strike a, a bird in flight, that the blade is going to continue to operate. My name is Gonçalo Valente, I'm the lead engineer for R&D at Carbon360 and I've led the Halos project through the 18 months of its duration from the design perspective, manufacturing and testing. We work with our partners, the NCC, on the material study and to select which core would be the best to deal with one of the main load cases, which is burst strike. For that, they, we worked on trying to understand different core materials and different cores manufacturing processes. With regards to material deposition, uh, we mainly focus on two big core areas, that is tailor fiber placement and braiding. With tailor fiber placement, one of the main advantages is the ability to tailor the mechanical properties of our preforms with respect to the load cases that we have in each of the products. The main focus with the tailor fiber placement technology here was to apply it in our internal structures so that we could have the lowest amount of waste possible. So with our partners, the NCC, we've approached two different ways of braiding. The first one being over braiding, so that is braid on t directly on top of the internal structure. And the second one being braiding in separate and then sleeving the, the, and integrating with the blade. This allows us is to have two different approaches that still keep us with a singular sleeve from the tip to the root of the blade. With respect to the burst strike testing, we went through a series of testings with different projectiles, different speeds, which validated the analysis work. The beauty of NATEP funding for a company like Carbon360 has been that we're, we're not nearly at the size yet where we can go to the large scale, uh, say, ATI strategic batch projects. But we've got lots of clever ideas and we really need to get a lot of them off the ground. So being able to have a, a smaller focus project where we have a smaller number of partners, where we have the really good support from the uh, technical guys at NATEP really helps us to get these projects going when we take this to an aerospace customer rather than just an idea when we can actually put a product on the table that we say has been made the way that we're going to make it in the volume. It, it's just a huge help for taking us forward. So for us, Halos has been really important for us to be able to actually demonstrate our capability both in terms of design and analysis but also producing a physical artefact that then goes on for the rigorous testing that's needed uh, for our aerospace customers. So overall, uh, it's been a huge benefit to the business. The aim is that we'll be a significant employer locally. We've had a lot of support through our local enterprise partnership, which we're grateful for. And in return, we're creating jobs and creating opportunities locally for people, particularly of a STEM background. What we're hopeful is that within the next five years, we'll grow the business to approximately 50 million turnover, and we'll be employing anywhere between 200, 
300, possibly a bit more people, and all of those people, that's new jobs. I'm Eric Bray, I'm the technology manager for NATEP, and I've been fortunate enough to support Carbon360 here in Chippenham on a couple of projects now over the last four years, uh, through which I've seen them grow and develop as a company. The most recent project, the Halos Blade, has been a really interesting project to see uh, go through the development process, right from design through to prototyping. They've had a relentless focus all the way through the project and have really done an excellent job in conjunction with the National Composite Centre, the NCC in Bristol, with a total focus on ensuring that the resulting design is able to be mass produced at scale and volume for low cost and able to achieve the very exacting demands of a blade such as this. The methodologies that they've developed are not only applicable to the blade in this instance, but they will benefit from it in a number of other applications. With the plans that they have in place and the products and customers they're talking to, I see a lot of hope for developing significant scale of jobs here in Wiltshire.